friends. Happy fun Friday. We made it through another week. Can I hear you go, oh yeah. I think I should hear your parents also say, oh yeah, we did it. So I have a great book to end the week. And I hope this book kind of gets your mind thinking and inspires you. It might even give you an idea. And I want you to think about that idea and figure out something pretty cool. So, this book, again, is one of my favorites and it's written and illustrated by another favorite author illustrator. Her name is Gail Gibbons. And I, goodness, I think I have just about all of her books. She really writes in a way that I think everybody can really relate to. So, are you ready? This book is called How a House is Built. Say, hmm, what do you think? How is a house built? Does somebody just go to the lumber yard, buy some wood and some nails and a hammer and start building? Hmm. Let's find out. How a house is built. Many people live in houses. There are many kinds of houses. So I like how she did that she's labeling. This is a log cabin. This is a house made out of stones. This is what we call an adobe house. And adobe houses are made out of kind of a clay and straw and water. And you would typically find it where Native Americans are or in the hot desert. I think of, when I think of adobe, I think of um, New Mexico. I think of the area around San Juan Capistrano, which is really close to here and very close to where I grew up. And that's where I learned how to make adobe bricks. Um, and this is a cement block home. And I grew up in a cement block home. And the home I live in now has, I believe it's still a cement block house, but I think that, I think so. And I know there's stucco on the outside. Houses are built in many shapes and sizes. So this brick house, what shape would you say this brick house was? Would you say a circle or a rectangle? rectangle. This is a glass house. Oh my goodness, could you imagine washing those windows? This is a frame house. When I was a little girl, I watched my neighbors build their own home. And I would sit out and I would watch them for, for hours building. I thought it was pretty fascinating. This is how a wood frame house is built. First, an architect draws the plans. So they use a special table and they use, they might use a very important piece of software on a computer to show exactly where everything needs to go. And the person who, who creates those plans is called an architect. The architect recommends a general contractor who will be in charge of building the house. During the months ahead, the general contractor will hire all the people needed to complete the project. The general contractor makes sure everything is done according to the schedule. Guess how many people it might take to build one house? Give me a number. If you said five, higher. 10, greater than 10. 20, I'm going to count. Well, first I'm going to turn this around so you can see. Look at all those people. Let's count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. For this house, 29 people. I know. It's a lot. At the construction site, the surveyor measures for the foundation. The foundation is the bottom layer of the home and you have to have a good foundation or your house will not be strong. He hammers wooden stakes into the ground where the corners of the house will be. A well is being drilled. Hmm. Now we wouldn't typically have in California have a space where a well would be needed to be drilled um, because we have water that is piped in. But sometimes you might not be near a place where there are water pipes. So you would have to have somebody dill, drill really far down into the ground and see if there's any water. And that is where you would get your water to bathe in for the kitchen, the bathroom and all that. The heavy equipment operators come rumbling up the road. They dig a hole where the foundation will go. The foundation will support the weight of the home. Ready? Look at that, look at those tractors. They're digging and they're moving dirt. All very important things. Next. The foundation builders arrive. They dig trenches around the edges and a trench is a deep hole. Then they line the trenches with boards, wood, to make a form. Trucks move into place and they pour concrete. See that? Look how deep. Again, you want a really good foundation. When the concrete is hard, the boards are removed. This is the footing for the foundation. The footing will give the house a very firm base. My Oliver cat sees a bird outside the window and I think he wants to play with it. Then the foundation builders build forms on the footing for the foundation walls. The concrete trucks come and go to fill the forms. The concrete floor of the basement is poured and smoothed over. Now again, here in Irvine, we really, I don't think I know any homes that have a basement. Typically a basement in a home would be in another maybe in the central part of the United States of America or in the southern part. That said, growing up in San Clemente by the beach, I did know of a couple friends who had basements. The forms are removed and when the concrete is, or pardon me, the forms are removed when the concrete is hard. Tar is smooth on the outside walls so moisture can't get in. Tar is a very sticky substance that um, you place on the outside and once it's dried, water cannot get into the house. Then the bulldozer pushes or backfills the dirt up against the outside of the foundation. Okay, this is another something we do not have in Irvine, okay? The septic tank crew arrives. They dig a hole and they lower a septic tank into it. A septic tank is when you don't have pipes. When you flush the toilet, everything kind of goes into this one ginormous pipe and Irvine Ranch Water District takes all that stuff in the water and they clean it and all that. Some homes do not have that feature. So they have what's called a septic tank. And the septic tank is usually out in the yard or under the house and it is, it collects everything. So 
my aunt and uncle have one. And it works very well for them. Okay, we do have this. Here comes the carpenter crew. Out come their tools. They bolt down the boards. They called the sill. I don't know what that is. To the top of the foundation. Then they hammer heavier boards called joists into place. When the carpenters nail sheets of plywood to the joists, making what is called a deck. It is called the floor of the house. Next, they begin to frame the house. They study the architect's plans. They saw pieces of wood to connect, or pardon me, to correct sizes. They nail together an outside wall of the house. The carpenter crew pushes the wall up and nails it into place. Another wall goes up and then another. Finally, all of the walls are in place. Now the carpenters frame in the roof. Roof rafters are nailed to the ridge boards. Soon the framing of the house will be complete. They begin to enclose, and it's close it in, enclose the house by nailing sheets of plywood to the outside of the frame. This is called sheathing. Then they saw out the spaces for the windows and for the doors. Felt paper is nailed to the outside of the plywood to keep everything dry. On the roof, a carpenter is busy nailing down the shingles. Shingles are what you see on the top of the house as you're driving by. Other carpenters nail clapboard siding to the sides of the house. Day after day, the work continues. The mason is almost finished building the chimney. Windows and doors are installed. A mason typically deals with making sure cement looks nice or the walls or the chimney. Inside the house, the walls are nailed into place. An electrician runs wire through the walls to outlets and switches. Plumbers install pipes that bring water to the faucets and carry waste from toilets into the septic tank. In our homes, it, the plumbing carries it to Irvine Ranch Water District. Insulation is tucked between the studs to keep the heat inside the house. The drywall crew cuts and nails the drywall into place. They smear joint compound onto the drywall joints to make really smooth walls. Did you ever imagine it takes this much to build one home? Next, the finished floors are nailed down. Windows and doors are trimmed. The painters paint the walls. Everything is almost done. The electricians hook up the lights. Cabinets are installed. The plumber puts in the bathtub, toilets, and sinks. The furnace and hot air ducts are installed. Outside, the landscaper notices that the grass they planted is beginning to grow. They dig a hole for more bushes. Oh, for many months, this has been a very, very busy place. At last, the work is done. Now the house is ready to become a home. And I like that. The house becomes a, becomes a home when a family is there. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you were ever wondering what it takes to build a home, or build a house, you now have everything you need to know 
So, again, I want you to think about how can you make a house? Or what would your perfect house look like? Would it have two stories? Would it be three stories? Would it have a ginormous tree house in the back? That's what I would want. So think about it and let your idea kind of get bigger and bigger. Don't ever be afraid to share your idea, okay? See you next time. Bye, my friends.